so first off, happy Halloween, everybody. I know it's been a little while since I've made the last video, but that's honestly because I'm a huge fan of Halloween, and I kind of go all out decorating my yard and carving pumpkins and stuff like that. So the last week or so has pretty much been a focus on getting all that Halloween stuff done. But today, let's talk about Smash stuff. Right now, it seems like pretty much everyone is eagerly anticipating the release of Terry for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, we've known since Terry was announced that he'd be released in November, and with today being Halloween, obviously November is upon us. However, we don't know when in November Terry could release. Some new stuff that's been coming out in the last few days has people really thinking that Terry could be happening in early November here, possibly any day now. So the first thing that really got people anticipating that Terry could be released here in early November was a few days ago when a blue dot was noticed next to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate YouTube channel. Generally, a blue dot indicates that something was added to that channel, such as a new video or something like that. Over on Twitter, Push Dustin of Source Gaming said, according to at Omega J12, the Smash Bros channel has been updated on YouTube. This could mean a new video has been uploaded, even if it's not public yet. What are your thoughts on this? And then he linked a source with an image of that Super Smash Bros Ultimate channel with that blue dot. Now, I personally hadn't heard anything about Terry being released anytime soon, however, more and more stuff kept piling up. Over on Twitter, at Nintendo Red Alert, Red Alert, the new Spirit event has copyrights for SNK. Could it be? And then they show the copyright tags on the Spirit event happening on November 1st, and SNK is part of that copyright. They go on to say, I checked the previous Spirit events, by the way, after the September Direct, and none of them included said copyrights. I'm actually thinking it could be soon, not gonna lie. And it's true, if we look at the last Spirit event, the Tetris Spirit event, if you look at the copyrights, SNK is not on there. So the idea here was that Terry could possibly be releasing as early as November 1st, if that Spirit copyright data indicates that SNK will then be part of the game. Well, it's Halloween and we still haven't gotten anything about Terry being released tomorrow announced yet. However, there was something else that happened today that could indicate Terry could be coming very soon. So on the Super Smash Bros. website for a while, Terry Bogard said November 2019. However, that recently changed to now saying coming soon. So with the website changing from November 2019 to actually just saying coming soon, it felt like they could really be gearing up for Terry to be released soon. However, something just happened tonight. It looks like that coming soon has now switched back to November. People have been monitoring the website all day, checking that coming soon label, and recently when you refresh the page, it now says November again. So possibly Terry was meant to come out soon and is now maybe being held back to a little later in November, or maybe they were never supposed to put up that coming soon banner and they just did it a little prematurely. One other strange thing that happened a little earlier this week is that the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate website actually went down for a little while. However, it was not the only website to do so. Over on Twitter, at Cosmic Saber said, It's because of an issue with the Akamai servers, which SuperSmashBros.com runs on. I've also heard the Smash 4 site is down, and the Brawl Dojo is down. Sadly, nothing Terry-related at the moment. So it seems the website going down earlier this week was just a coincidence, but with the blue dot appearing on the YouTube channel, and we have the coming soon label attached to Terry and then going back to November, um, it does seem like something could be happening with Terry. I mean, it is about to be November anyway, and that's when Terry's supposed to come out. So it does seem like early November may actually be when we get him. Once again, I haven't actually heard anything myself about Terry releasing soon, so if I hear anything from any source or anything like that about Terry being imminent, I will, of course, make a video as soon as possible and let you guys know. So with the possibility of Terry being released soon, we could also potentially be getting our fifth DLC fighter for the Fighter's Pass revealed to us. So let's talk about some interesting stuff that happened for some potential characters that could get into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Earlier this week over on Twitter, at Verge of Vertigo said, Found something interesting for Lloyd Irving, possibly being in Smash. Stay tuned. And then posted some pictures. The pictures are of some Spanish tweets, and they are translated. It says, What other character of at Bandai Namco will reach Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? I think it could be Lloyd Irving from the series Tales of. Although, then I remembered that, transcending history and the world, there is a tale of souls and swords told again and again for eternity. Hashtag Soul Calibur. With a picture of Cervantes. The Bandai Namco of Latin America actually responded and said, At the moment, we have no official information. We suggest you stay tuned for more information. Regards, with a winking face. 
since that is the official Bandai Namco Latin American Twitter source, um, it's worth looking into what they say. And that post did have Lloyd Irving and Soul Calibur on it, so it could bode well for characters from either of those series. However, some people have suggested that that tweet may have just been an automated response. I'm not totally sure about that or not, but that's a possibility here. Next up, I'd like to talk about Reimu, who is a really popular character with Japanese Smash fans. In fact, she's so popular, I talked about her, and I actually had some Japanese um, Smash Brothers YouTube channels mentioning me talking about her. This was in regards to a potential leak about some possible Toho music tracks that might be coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. However, many people thought that leak might have actually been debunked, as it was riding entirely on the credibility of the person who was leaking it. They had leaked something for a Toho game in the past, however, it was kind of found out that a developer of that Toho game may have actually already shown off what this person had supposedly leaked, so it might not have actually been a leak at all. Well, now there's some new information saying that this leaker might actually be a leaker. Even though some developer may have actually shown off what they leaked, it might not have actually been the exact same thing. Over on Twitter, at MBlueTart said, at Remove for Smash, possible new evidence for Toho Smash leak. The leaker's credibility was called into question because the concept art for Toho, not Smash, he leaked, was already posted by the developer on Twitter. However, examination suggests Twitter was not the source. And then there's two pictures there, showing that although it is kind of the same thing, they were actually different images. Over on Discord, Mage explained it to me very well. They said, essentially, the image leak they posted is different from the Twitter one. They did not get the image from Twitter. It would have the same artifacts. The fact that the image is so clean may suggest that the leaker may have gotten it from inside. So there you go, what we thought may have been debunking the Toho music leak um, may not actually be debunking it. So that one's back on the table. Um, I'm not really sure which way I lean on it, so it's a possibility here. And then finally, just a pretty interesting piece of news, the Metroid Prime 4's developer, Retro Studios, actually hired a Halo character modeler as their new lead artist. So it's just pretty cool to see Halo and Metroid actually coming together. It's something I never really thought would happen, and it's kind of happening here with the development. Pretty cool. All right, well, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween, and hopefully we'll be getting Terry very soon here. If you guys have any thoughts or comments about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, leave them below. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.